We're going in. No recurts. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off the new winter holiday tank, the Chinese Type 62, which is a very, 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 very light tank. Don't let looks deceive you at all. Sure, it has a silhouette. Okay, thank you, Mouse. I was like, what's up? Sure, it has the silhouette of a T-54 feel. But again, don't let looks deceive you. This thing has absolutely no armor for its battle rating. Let's check it out. Okay, so we'll start off with the upper glacis. Max armor, 25 millimeters. Effective. Well, let's go down to normal, like how you would engage it. You're looking at about like 45 to 55 millimeters of effective thickness at the most. And this being a T-54 design or based off, or just the fucking looks. Guess what you have right here, guys? A whole bunch of ammunition. And from the sides, any tanks with 50 cals can penetrate this side armor at very close range without any type of angle. I believe the max penetrating AP 50 cal is 26 millimeters. And maybe if you have the right angle engaging the type 62, 50 cals can penetrate the upper deck because it's only 16 millimeters thick. And if you get a top down shot on it with a P47 with eight flipping 50 cals, you can destroy the engine. Or if you want to be nice and crafty, you can aim right for that ammunition, boys. Look at that. Boom. And then we have the turret armor that's clocked in at 50 millimeters of thickness at 5.7. Even though it's red, it's red because uh, it's 50 millimeters and the rest of the tank's like 30 and 25. So rounds will be able to go through this turret very easily. However, you know, with a turret's design, some might bounce. Now let's talk about the gun, the Type 62 85 TC Cannon, 85 millimeter. Now word on the streets, is that this thing doesn't have the correct ammunition. This thing was supposed to get a heat fin stabilized shell. And I believe, hopefully I'm not, you know, too off with this. I'll, I'll quote my sources or not quote. I'll in the description below, I'll show you my sources on the Chinese server. This thing has heat fin stabilized and it wasn't supposed to be a 5.7. It's going to be a higher BR tank, like 6.3 and such. But just checking out the ammunition right now, the BR 365A, um, 142 millimeters, 10 meters, 139 millimeters at 100 meters. The BR 367, very strong penetrating shell. Explosive mass, 44 grams. And TNT equivalent, 74.8. Ooh, this one's fucking explosive, though. This one, has, this one has 164 grams compared to only uh, 44 grams. So before playing this tank at all, I don't think I'm going to have much trouble with a cannon like that. You know, granted, we don't have the, the heat fin stabilized, but we're at 5.7 with a very powerful low pen round compared to the other shell. I think we'll be able to do some good in this tank. However, if someone sees us, we're dead very quickly welcome to sinai with the type 62 made in china we got 15 shells of the 164 or the bigger punch lower pen and then we got 12 of the higher pen lower punch shells for today and there we go we got a nice spot on about three or four tanks going into the left side now i'm gonna go over here and help out this t-34 because there's about three or four tanks over here that are trying to assault the rear and that was a really decent shot, actually. I'm not that hurt. 27 on the rep. Okay, back up. Helping the T-34. The one I was going to help initially died already. Oh, shit. We're going in. No regrets. Was that not the sickest fucking kill you've ever seen? Oh my god, the drip snipe. I could die right now, be happy, no problem at all. That shit, I just peeked. 
I peaked for the day. I peaked for the fucking year. Let's continue on here with the uh, Type 62. We cleared out that Tiger and I've settled down a little bit here. The problem with this maneuver here is that we're going to be kind of by their spawn, which I don't really... Lol in reversing. I thought I heard some other guns to our left, but nobody can get down there. Okay, let's call it out for our team. We got one guy sitting here. We just bounced, and I believe he shot us off the turret. Can't tell what it is, though. He shot, bounced, and retreated very, very quickly. I wonder if we can climb this hill to our right or this mountain. Looks like a Hellcat. We're getting some nice hits on him, too. Target undamaged. Unfortunate right there. He should be repairing, I think. Tank far. Can't really make out what it is. Fucking bushes in my way. A little too high right there. Oh, that, that's a fucking A13. You know, the funny thing is that he can kill me. Fuck these tumbleweed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Big tank, big tank. She hot. Oh my gosh, no. He penned my boom. Get out there, T-34. Do something, bro. Good fucking hit, bro. Yo. I can't see this fucker, dude. Okay, now I can see him. That fucking tumbleweed kills me right there. I almost got killed by an A13 in this, boys. Holy shit. Thanks. Thank God that uh, solid shot didn't shrapnel too much. I want to find that uh, Chi Ha Chi Ri, you know, the autoloader tank. Nice, big, huge ass target. Okay, the Red Devil needs some help here. Got a nice position up here, too. I don't know what... Are my, are my headphones on backwards? Yeah, they are. Fuck. Okay, there we go. I was like, what the fuck? Where's that anti-air coming from? I think I got him on fire right there. Nope. T-34 got him on fire. Well, guys, I think that is the game. So last game was a good demonstration of how fun this tank can be. And then on the other hand, oh, sorry guys, I'm all in your way. Apologies. And on the other hand, how flippin' vulnerable. I almost got killed by, oh, that's AI. I was like, oh shit, a free fucking kill, bro. Uh, I almost got killed by an A13. And luckily he doesn't have any uh, high explosive rounds or, you know, filler rounds to kill us. He only, he only has that solid shot. Hats off to that guy because uh, definitely made me panic a little bit. Two early kills, ripping reperonis, these AIs. We're gonna get a nice foothold up here. We gotta watch our right in case some of them wanna push up over there. Enemy tank sighted, far shot. But we can do it. Beautiful. Now our buddy in front of us just got KO'd by a King Tiger. Okay, good. My the other T sixty two is watching my right. I'm watching the front. I wonder if we should flank around here. Ooh 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 ooh! Tiger tank, tiger tank left. Let's not overexpose ourselves to the right. I'm gonna hug this mountain here though. I can't get a shot on him. I'm doing it. Where did he fucking go? Where did that tiger tank go? 
What the flip? Maybe he died and I was too concentrated. We, we didn't see his death. Oh, but we got a real tiger tank down here. I wonder if he sees me. Yeah, I think he definitely sees me. He's getting in position. I'm gonna see if I can lob this shot over this hill. Oh, we got that guy. I shouldn't have shot because now he saw someone shot over here. Okay, he's moving out. Okay, so we got snipers over there. I'm just trying to get in position to engage this, this tiger here. God, every little spot I go is just not a shootable position. Okay, here we go, maybe. Okay, good. Panther, front. Fuck. Just missed ammo by a little bit. Good. Someone else got him. Pull him back. Okay. So they have... Ooh. Tango, maybe? We got a King Tiger or Panther F right here. Nope. Oh! <laughs> he shot well. I shot poor, man. Look at this. You know, I'm all about teaching you guys what to do and how to do it and giving you guys some really good tips for War Thunder. That's a joke, because don't take tips from me, dude. I play like an asshole. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to um, try to engage a King Tiger hold down. But look at this, guys. Downhill, this thing goes nice and quick. 70 kilometers an hour. If only it could obtain this on level ground. It's doing this on sand, too, which is kind of surprising. Welcome to Normandy, though. We are going to be taking... Okay, we're already here. I don't really know how this is going to go down. I want to push to the right. At the same time, we don't have much depression to deal with these... Um, this, ran, this, this rock here. I'm going to watch the lighthouse area. We might be able to get a shot on this guy right here. What is this thing? Looks like a Japan Japanese tank. Ooh. It's a uh, one of those auto loaders. A little bit higher maybe. What the fuck? Why is that breach eating all my explosivity? Is that a broom bear? Fucking hell it is. And like, how does that kill him, dude? <laughs> like, fucking hell. All right, I feel bad for that guy. Whoa, whoa, enemy tank. Oh, wow. That's fucking spooky as hell. Oop, shit, enemy tank in front too. I think it's that auto loader. Finally. Okay, so three quick, easy kills. We have a big control over A. The next step is this team. Yeah, this team's already done, so let's just push up. If we die, it doesn't even matter. We're going to win the game. I think the main reason why we were able to get a foothold like that is the T-62 downward top speed of, you know, 65, 70 kilometers an hour. There goes another tank right there. And maybe because a lot of, maybe like eight or nine tanks camped um, on this wall here. Didn't really help their team out too well. All right, what's the, what's the damage up here? This guy is dead, right? I'm gonna go defensive behind this scenery tank here and see if we can't kill one or two more before the game's over. Beautiful. Enemy plane inbound. Ooh. Don't shoot me. What is this? Damn it. I wanted to fucking kill that guy. Panzer four down. Apparently, these guys in here are having trouble with an enemy tank. I think it's an anti-air. Oh, shit. Yep, there he is. Shit. Lol. Oh, God. Please don't kill me. Oh, my God. He, went, he, he just went for the fucking reload. Fuck me. I'm so dumb. Fuck. 
You really got to treat every enemy tank as a real threat in the Type 62. I played that horribly just because normally the tanks I use, a Werblewind can't penetrate me at all. You really, every everything's a threat to this lightly armored 5.7 tank. There we go, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this video with the Type 62. My overall feelings with the Type 62 tank is that it's a very competitive tank at its BR with its explosive filler, its penetration, its decent reload rate, and its top speed makes it very, very lethal. On the other hand, you have to take every single tank on the battlefield seriously. I even had to take seriously an A13 when I'm a 5.7, because without, without that armor, um, you can't laugh at them when they bounce off you anymore. They're going to penetrate you and penetrate you many, many times. We got lucky today. We really did. We should have died to that A13, and we should have died to that Chiha or Chiri, and we should have died to the Werblewind, but we got lucky. Pretty much, if you get into a bad situation with a Type 62, it is very, very hard to get out alive. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a great day. Peace out.